Yo, 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 hey, what's going on, guys? Sorry, I'm checking this screen, but I really want to talk to you here. And uh, I kind of quit the monthly pickups for the past, like, two months or a month and a half uh, because I want to do something a little bit different. And I wanted to kind of review and chronalize, chronologicalize six months worth of uh, video games monthly vgm so uh, in this uh, review i just want to talk about it uh talk about what i like about this service and uh give it a score a rating of some sort something like that so um without you having to watch the whole review and um wait and wait i'm gonna give video games monthly 8.75 out of 10 right or four and a half out of five or something like that um, I'm really happy with the service. I like it a lot. Uh, all the games I got are really great. And uh, a disclaimer, my review comes um, solely based off of like a Sega perspective. On their website, you can choose what um, systems you want to retro collect for. And uh, I adopted to choose like Sega because I kind of don't have a huge Sega library. And I was always like kind of peculiar, like how do you mix and I guess they kind of do it. How do you mix, like, if you're going to pick three or four Sega games, how do you pick, like, one good one versus two mediocre ones or a bad one and a good one and, and whatnot? Um, so let's just get right to it. And this is my first delivery. This is month number one. So, uh, you know, you get you get a Ren and Stimpy, which is, like, a little bit nostalgic. But then you get Urban Strike and an Outdoor Bass Tournament and this Demolition Racer, which this is just, like... This is crap. I mean, you know, what, what do they, these people call it? Like shareware or something like that? Um, I don't know. But this was month number one. And, you know, you could take these two away as pretty decent games. And then you could take these two away as kind of like bad games. But then how are they going to get the Dreamcast, a game that has so many expensive gems, right? So let's just keep going. And, uh, you know, this month I would consider mid-tier. You know, this is kind of mediocre. Um... But you got four games for the price of three. I have to add that in, too. Uh, when you join, you get a couple free games here and there. Um, but it seemed to be that while I paid for three, and maybe it was a mistake, I don't know. I was constantly sent four. They give you one-ups, free games, I guess somewhere along the lines. And it, and it tells you. Here, let's, let's catalog that real quick. One-up, congratulations. You have received a free game. Thank you for being a monthly game subscriber. Visit our website for a list of up-to-date systems. So these come in the box, uh, which I'll just show you the box and final box at the end. Um, so in month two, we got Echo, considered a classic for the system. Eternal Champions, another classic. Yeah, it's got a not for resale sticker on it, which is kind of cool. I mean, where did they get this not for resale game from? I, I don't know. But uh, you got Pac-Man. Uh, for Dreamcast, and you got Pac-Man 2, the new adventures for Genesis. So, I think this month is better than mediocre. You have what people consider retro in Pac-Man, and then two classic games, right? So, this is a good month. This is a good four for that. We move on to month three, which again, unfortunately, pretty much crap games for the Dreamcast. Uh, again, I'm not expecting much in their Dreamcast section, but, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know. And then you got Columns, a classic for the system, which I'm really happy to own. And then the Sonic 3D Blast, which I noted in my earlier review, this cartridge does not say Sega or hint at Sega anywhere, and the label looks... I don't know. It looks old. It's hard to tell if it's bootleg or not. And again, I don't, I don't have the knowledge. But to me, this looks like a bootleg cartridge, man. Um, this one says Sega for columns. Let's, let's check. So looking back, all the other ones say Sega, Sega. So again, I mean, you'd have to do some, f some fishing around, but possible bootleg. So, um, the first three months, I opted to not update. Uh, my game catalog, which they actually require you to do manually as well, which is a little weird. Uh, I don't know how many customers they have, but it can easily, since they've created the list on the website, why can't they just fill out the list for you and not send you a, a, re, um, 
like a copy or whatever, a, a secondary game. So from month three into month four, I actually got another Coaster Works, which again, due to their terms, you would say would fall on me. But I mean, they just can't fill out a sheet to know which ones like would be my doubles. I don't know. And then Sega Bass Fishing, which is, you know, it's it's one of the cheaper games, but it's still Sega kind of like an arcade classic. It's a great game for the Dreamcast. It's got like a lot of nostalgia factor. Uh, then the Genesis games I got were Taz, Escape from Mars, which I consider, again, kind of like that nostalgic kind of game. Maybe not great, but actually, like, this game is a good game. I like this game a lot, but you know what I mean? It just falls under the wacky character game, which I think puts these games, like, in a mid-category now. And then I got Stormlord. I know nothing about Stormlord. I haven't researched it, but the game has, like, a rip on it, you know, which is kind of like kind of fucking sucks, you know, to be honest. Why would I want Rips games? But I guess it's not it's considered retro, right? It's not new, so. And then on the back, it actually says Razorsoft Inc. Which makes me to, like, to believe, like, what am I looking this up? This looks like one of those, um, PC to Genesis port games. Uh, my buddy Matt was telling me about that. A lot of programmers used to do that, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I guess the Genesis could really port from PC pretty well. So that was month four. Now, um, let me see. So then we go to month five, which it came with um, a magnet, which is kind of cool. I like that. I like the idea of, like, you know, the cheap things. It just makes it feel nice. Pins, magnets, pens. These things have came with video games monthly pens. Um... And I like that. That's a plus for the service, you know? Even though it's like, you know, it's kind of like cheap stuff, it's still cool to get. So then I got a This Is Jeopardy um, by Game Tech. I got um, Sega Marine Fishing, which I kind of love. You know, last month they sent me the Sega Bass Fishing, and then this month I'm getting Sega Marine Fishing. When does it end, right? Um, but again, you look at it, and I can't complain. It's Sega. It's you know, produced by Sega, and it's fishing. Then, in the same month, I got box version, so I got a repeat of Eternal Champions, but it came in the box, so again, last time I just got the cart, but not for resale. Um, you know, one thing I didn't do was, let's, let's open the carts. So, alright, so, you got the same thing, no instructions, but a cart, and, uh, it's cool because Sega, man, they just went ham with their um, labeling. And, again, these have two separate spine logos, which is pretty interesting. And then on the front, they're the same with the same product number, same artwork. Yeah. And But then I have the not for resale, which is kind of cool. So, you know, it is what it is, man. If I can just get some instruction booklets online for uh, pretty cheap of a pretty nice collection of Eternal Champions. Then, on top of that month, I got, well, I know I showed it before, but X-Men. A classic for Genesis, right? But, let's open it up and see. Yeah, got the X-Men cart. No instruction booklet. Looks pretty, uh, genuine. Man, this Sega, Sega labels, man, they're not making it these days, alright? They're really wearing down. So that was, uh, the fifth month. On the sixth month, I got a yo-yo, which is really neat. And let's see, I got one Dreamcast, three Genesis. So for the Dreamcast, I got Choo Choo Rocket, which I think I owned and just didn't mark. Again, if you have a large library too, you have to fill out their sheet with the games you already have. So that can be tedious too. Like, who wants to sit around, catalog their initial catalog, then every time they get a game every month, they have to re-catalog, introduce... It's definitely for collectors, you know? Um, not so many just getting games in the mail, but you got the Choo Choo Rocket, Vector Man, which is a classic, right? It's a really good game. Uh, it looks legit. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, what is the title of this game? I'm not so sure. Spider-Man slash X-Men Arcades Revenge. Now, again, this falls under the nostalgic category, you know? It's not a game, you know, it's a licensed IP. So, you know, you get Vector Man, which is a really good video game, you know, produced just for that purpose, and you get the nostalgic IP. And then, we get another, like, sports class. So there's definitely a rhythm here, right? 
a sports game, a, a, a video game, a classic, a cheap game, and then like your other, which is a sports game. Um, but this Barkley shut up and jam, like, this is either a ridiculous troll or the review's a 10 out of 10. I don't know. When I got this, I was like, I can rest now, right? It's in the collection. So, you know, honestly, like I said, it's like 8.75, maybe even a 9 out of 10 for this service. I've had the service for six months. I showed you guys some of this stuff in my monthly pickups. But I just wanted to give a, a greater range and review of the six months and uh, and give it like a score. You know, I don't really review things for scores, but, uh, you know, 8.7 to 9 out of 10. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I like to continue it. Um, here is their logo for anybody who's interested. And uh, this is my review of Video Games Monthly, VGM. Well, you know, it's VideoGameMonthly.com. And, uh, you know, you can use the acronym VGM. Later, guys. Peace.